With NFL free agency on the horizon, we've reached the time of year when national media analysts start trying to project where some of the most coveted players could end up, the Dolphins won't have much salary cap space to work with at all. They'll clear space with restructures and cuts, of course, but at the moment, Spotrac says they're $12.78 million over the cap, 22nd best positioned, and so, yes, there are free agents that are far more important for Miami to re-sign, here are our top 10 most important. Nick Needham, the Dolphins can't be counting on Byron Jones to return and in fact may be done with him no matter what, it's unfortunate but Byron's injury woes were more frustrating and debilitating than most knew, enter Needham, who missed all but six games due to a torn Achilles. Miami needs to add a cornerback in free agency or the draft. But Cater Kohu becomes an outside option if Needham returns as a slot option, Raheem Mostert, Mostert, 30, is an ideal fit for McDaniel's outsize zone scheme. After his season ended with a broken thumb, it makes too much sense for both sides not to come to a reasonable agreement, whether it's another one-year deal or a two-year deal, Mostert displayed speed, toughness, good vision and decision-making. And he's a good teammate and a good locker room component as well, heck, Mostert even returned 25 kicks for 502 yards, Trent Sherfield, another former 49er that worked out, Sherfield was the wide receiver with the third most Dolphins catches. In fact, he had only two fewer catches than Gasicki, Sherfield, 26, is a good blocking wide receiver. And he can contribute on special teams. And he's got good hands and he's a good teammate and has an infectious, positive personality. Jeff Wilson, if the Dolphins don't sign Mostert, they really need to bring back another former 49er, Wilson. Miami acquired him via trade and he fit right in both on the field and in the locker room, Mostert checked in at 4.9 yards per carry and Wilson was 4.7 and honestly, if it's possible to bring both running backs back at a reasonable rate, there's no reason not to, Thomas Morstead, Morstead was tied for 22nd in the NFL in net punting and tied for 21st in average yards per punt. But Morstead was 5th in the league in percentage of punts inside the 20th, Morstead, 37, is as solid as they come. And he wants to return, Duke Riley, the linebacker position under new coordinator Vic Fangio will be fascinating. Fangio likes athletic and sturdy linebackers who can run and cover and hammer running backs, too, Riley has special teams value. And he can cover. But it would be better if he was close to a Landon Roberts 238 pounds than his 227. Thing is, Roberts is physical and aggressive but not great in coverage. Does Roberts run well enough to intrigue Fangio? If both league and free agency, perhaps Channing Tindall should get a shot to play more in 2023, Andrew Van Jinkel, the Dolphins could bring back Van Jinkel, 27, or Melvin Ingram, 33, though Van Jinkel would quite likely cost a lot more. Van Jinkel seems likely to leap at an opportunity for more playing time elsewhere, Van Jinkel played 29% of defensive snaps and 68% as a core special teams player. The previous season, he played 71% of defensive snaps and 60% of special teams snaps. Safety Eric Rowe is not on this list but could continue to provide value as a third or fourth safety, if club and player were to decide a reunion makes sense. Mike Gesicki, look, there is no reason to think Gesicki will be back. But he's the most talented player on this list, so we're not going to exclude him entirely. Gesicki is a good dude and a good pass catcher and it will be fun to watch him in an offense that features his skill set. Miami will need to add a tight end in either free agency or the draft, Brandon Shell, you know who was solid at right tackle when Austin Jackson was injured twice, Brandon Shell, that's who. Why not bring him back? It's a good fit for veteran depth. Greg Little, look, Miami needs a backup left tackle for Taron Armstead, a pro bowler who has had too many injuries throughout his career, Little has been up and down as a dolphin but there are worse fourth tackle options in the league. Miami will certainly explore the potential for a perceived slight upgrade.